Hey mum, we call recording from Notting Hill Gate, West London. No, not what? A spare what? A non-smoker. Well, I've got this one, but I don't think it's working here. I don't think it's worth try it. I'll try it. Well, nah. Fuck, I'm sorry. No, I mean, I'll just have to give my money away. Yeah, maybe next time. Sorry, darling. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I was saying, Notting Hill Gate, West London. This is the area of the Notting Hill Carnival. And this is uh, Goldbourne Road. Uh, Portuguese community in Morocco. Very, very multi ethnic around here. And uh, yeah, I was just going to say, show you that it seems to be livening up again after this uh, wretched three month lockdown. People are leaving their paranoid ways at home and seem to be coming out on the street much more. So there's no carnival this year. Um, I think um, they're having a uh, samba event in Hyde Park on Bank Holiday Monday, but it's not going to be anything near like it celebration that it usually is. That's a Spanish center over there, Spanish students. Looks like it used to be a convent or a prison. And you get lots of lazy art and photography down here. Sorry, they call it the Spanish Centre because it's got a sort of a Moorish sort of look about it. You know, I'm not sure. I don't know the history of this building. <clears throat> it's all got the EU flag up there, so <laughs> it's obviously not part of the UK. And a lot of this here could be described as uh, lazy art. If you look at it, it reminds me in a way of uh, what is shown in um, La Sacre Coeur in Paris. That sort of lazy art. It's not for sale. It's just it's just on the wall. Looks like Bowie. I've never seen so many police around London as I have here tonight. It's almost like a carnival. The police are absolutely everywhere, so uh, they seem to be expecting some sort of trouble. That's the Westway there, famous Westway. It's mentioned in the song um, of the Clash. Um, London, uh, London's Burning it mentions all, about, all along the Westway. That's the Westway. Many people not wearing masks. I'm one of them. Anyone who, who knows my page knows that I'm not exactly, I'm rather sceptical about all this. None of the police here are wearing masks either. This, my opinion, honest opinion, I mean, look, how many people are wearing masks? One. Looks like she's come out of surgery, maybe, maybe she has. So yeah, people are coming on the street to meet these social distancing requirements that are coming on the street. I mean, apparently, the average restaurant, English restaurant, is down to 25% of its normal takings. Chinese restaurants are down to just taking 10% of their normal takings, which is it is cruel. I mean, walking around Chinatown the other day, they're almost begging of you to come in. You know, it's just so it's pitiful. You know, they by Christmas they're not going to be here. It's as simple as that. There's the Westway, and you know. There's, Lots of geeks going on around here, and it seems to be coming back into life much more than it was. This is the market during the day, and this is the famous Portobello Road. You can 
music by anything. I filmed down here earlier this year, it was a ghost town, but uh, people are definitely coming out of it. Quite honestly, they've had enough of it, they've had enough of this lockdown. You know, you, people are in prison for a while, it's human nature to get out, isn't it? And that's why right, people are getting out. This, this charade has gone on long enough, people aren't believing it anymore, you know, police everywhere, look. Lots of nice uh, Spanish Spanish restaurants down here. People ask me why I'm wearing my army badge. Okay, I don't wear that often, but we had a little reunion today, so I thought, why not? You know, keep it on. So yeah. So in a way, by bringing the tables and chairs onto the streets, it's um, giving it more of a sort of continent continental flavour. God knows how many businesses are going out. It's just, just tragic. The big ones, yeah, the big ones will be fine. You know, looking at um, Wotherspoons, etc., they'll be they'll be fine. It's the small ones that won't be able to make ends meet. Small environments where there's no uh, no room to do to move chairs, tables and chairs on the street. You know. If the, if this was really a pandemic, you would be seeing corpses. You'll be seeing undertakers inundated with bodies. And above all, we would all know of someone who's had, who's had the virus. I mean, people I speak to, they don't know anyone who's had it. I don't know anyone who's had it. But then, you know, you might get someone who says, oh, yes, I've had a friend who's dying. But what they won't tell you is, is the surrounding circumstances that the person was probably over 80 and had underlying health issues anyway. <clears throat> and... Uh, and they died, you know, sadly this, you know, every year, particularly in winter, the elderly die, they get hypothermia and they die. <clears throat> it's a sad, you know, death is a reoccurring fact of human existence. I will admit there was a, uh, a sudden rise in, in deaths earlier this year, but that, what they want to, that came at the time of lockdown. The, st the statistics aren't adding up. If you look at the statistics for the Office for National Statistics and then the NHS, you'll find that there are odds with each other. There's more going on here than, uh, than the virus. And I think people are beginning to realise that. Grenfell Tower over there which was burnt down a couple of years ago people died and um, I don't know how they're going to take that down because uh, sometimes they blow these buildings up but I'm not sure how they should maybe make, turn it into a memorial or something So the nightlife isn't exactly vibrant, but uh, it's, it's better than it, than it was, you know, we're getting um, back to some semblance of normality, I suppose you could say. Not normality, I mean, they talk about this new norm. There's only one norm and that's normality. Adversity can never be normality. You can have an, a new abnorm, but that's not more normality. People want normality, simple as that. They won't accept anything else. <laughs> and you won't see the damage that's done until October when this when this furlough ends. That's when you're going to see the true damage. Really. So that makes it new. Lots of trendy shops down here. I only hope they can survive, you know, because it's... It's the smallest shops, I think, that give give a place character. You know, if it's all if it's all Walmart or uh, Maplin or TJ, whatever it's called, it's very bland. You know, very banal. You see, smaller shops uh, 
that have the idiosyncrasies. Gelateria, nice ice cream, Italian ice cream. So there you are guys, I just thought I'd show you a little bit around the Notting Hill Gate Portobello Road. Uh, there isn't any carnival up here this, this year. And um, the Afro-Caribbean community in the UK loves its social culture. I mean, um, Where's Maria? One Jamaican oh, guy this. I know actually said to me, the, Br the British have got no uh, social culture. And I think I know what he means, you know, the British are cold. We've got a culture that involves the military, I suppose, royalty, etc. But we haven't got anything that makes us want to come out on the street and uh, celebrate life, you know, like the Notting Hill Carnival. And uh, that's what's unique about this place. But as I say, it won't be happening this year. Anyway, wherever you are, have a nice weekend and see you soon.